Self-reflection is a key to existential therapy for the client. Of course, it's also key to the psychotherapist. That goes without saying. Your whole training consists of learning to become more self-aware and in that process more self-reflective and more able to reflect on things as they happen rather than be reactive to them. So in your training as a psychotherapist, you learn that skill to create more and more space between the things that happen in your life and how you process them inside and how you understand them. In terms of being in the session with the client, you also become more and more able to suspend your reaction and to instead place silence and quiet and time there that allows for what is happening and what the client is experiencing to become more clear, more obvious, to come out of the shadows and into the light. So this is the work you're doing for yourself on your own behalf. You're becoming more and more aware of how your own past, your experiences, your worldview, your assumptions, your beliefs interfere with the process of the counselling or the therapy and you learn to suspend them, watch them, let them be there and not let them be from where you intervene and how you tackle the difficulties that the client brings. But far more importantly, you need to learn to translate this ability, this skill, into something that you teach your client also. So you need to show by example how this is done, how it is possible to tune in to the space, to tune in to the time that is available and to create enough peace and enough reflection, time to pause, in which the client can slow down, come to hear what they're saying rather than just saying it, come to see how they come across, come to feel what they're feeling and know what they're feeling, come to understand what they're feeling, come to see how what they're feeling connects to the context of their life, to the world they live in, to the way in which they are in the world in a feeling mode. They learn to pay attention to the way they speak, the way they sit, the way they move, the way they dress, the way they are in the room, the way they relate to you, the way they relate to other people, the way they talk about the way they relate, the way they think about the past and how that restricts and constricts them or how it reactivates distress or pressure or worry about themselves and also the way in which they can reshape that, the way in which gently it can be moved about, shaken up a bit, so that the picture changes and space is created in which oh, we can breathe and we can feel and we can release the tension and we can allow ourselves to create perspective. Perspective that allows us to assume the past, have it with us, not be afraid of it, draw from it, harvest its learning and then focus it, absorb it, consolidate it and out of that create something, building blocks for the future. The paving of another path that we can slowly begin to tread with the learning we've got into the future. So that instead of fearing the future, being afraid of it, we through our self-reflective awareness become capable of enjoying 
what we can gain from the past, what we can distill from our learning, what we can harvest and hold on and have with us always and use to create, to imagine, to build, to launch into an adventure with what we take with us from our reflection. And also the very act of reflection, the very act of knowing that we can deliberate, that we can explain, feel, be with, think about, value, validate, understand, redeem, take with us, transform, transcend, overcome, work at, move forward, that all of that is part of what is given us as human beings who have consciousness. And that consciousness is what we work with in existential therapy. We polish it, we make it work, we allow reflection to become deeper and deeper and deeper and more and more pleasant, more and more like an act of creation in which we are regenerated, in which we are recreated, in which we expand ourselves and extend ourselves into a world of which we were afraid and we were holding ourselves away from, hiding away from. Through self-reflexivity, we become deployed, opened up, expanded, like flowers we open up and we start thriving instead of striving. We start to enjoy instead to worry. We start to respect ourselves for the learning we do and we start to value the space that we represent in the world. That space where experiences are turned into learning, where our difficulties are becoming our strength, where our worries dissolve into trust and going forward, where apprehension turns into confidence, self-esteem, strength, quiet, enjoyment of the years given you that you're alive. This is what as an existential therapist you need to pass on to your client. This is the atmosphere you create. It's about self-reflection on the way we are in our body and the way we can play with that and expand it and make it more solid and more flexible and more light and more alive, more vital. The way we can take into awareness, the way we relate to other people and can create that into a collaborative effort where we enjoy being with others. The way we are with ourselves and learn to really appreciate having that selfhood, that focal point that consciousness, that I, through which everything comes to light. And of course, also reflection on our values, on our ideas, on the way we make sense of the world, we, the way we create and find meaning in the world, and the way in which we can alter that, so that the meaning becomes more and more strong, deep, wide, far-reaching and more and more connections are made so that everything in the end is connected into a jigsaw puzzle where the pictures come to life into an array of possibilities that we can play with and that freedom of using our self-reflection to open up our world is the secret by which we as therapists hold our own in any situation 
and are at peace in crisis. And it is also the secret by which we allow clients to discover the power of being alive, the power of being aware and using that brain to come to life as fully as you can and as open and as ready as you can possibly muster. And this is what existential therapy will help you do. Recover your passion and your awareness through the use of self-reflection at all dimensions of your life in the process of being together in therapy, in silence, in contemplation, in thought, in feeling, in emotional attunement to all that the world holds and all you can make of that and all you can do with your life.